Well, good morning, good morning. This is a little early this morning, and uh, but I'm not able to go live at 9 o'clock, but thank you for joining us here at 8.30 today. And uh, might wait just a few minutes and see if some folks are able to join us, but obviously you can watch this not only live, but you can watch it archive on Facebook later today. And uh, you can also watch it on the Realm app. We'll put a link on there on our YouTube account. But thank you. We are getting so many comments about people who are looking forward to this. And I'm just simply here to say something good about God. I want to give you a word of encouragement. And I want to thank you. Some of you are making comments. I appreciate you putting a comment right there because it lets us know that you're watching. And we're all going through this thing together. Uh, and I'm just simply trying to be an encouragement. We want to say something good about God. I want to remind you today how good God is. And uh, so thank you for joining with us. I hope this, that this is an encouragement, and I hope that you're sharing it and letting folks know about it. But, Pastor Tad, why are you doing this? Well, the reason is we're not able to meet together at the, at the present state we're in. Uh, we're not going to be able to meet together on Sunday except by way of the media. And uh, we're not able to meet together uh, on Sunday or Wednesday or during the week. And so we're all in this thing together. We don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. And so we're trying to communicate. We're trying to encourage. So thank you for reaching out to one another. Thank you for loving one another. A little bit later today, this afternoon, uh, Miss Pat Narrows is cooking a meal for the Garden City Rescue Mission. And we're trying to have the ministry go on. And uh, we're trying to, you know, we've got to keep it going. As, as we say, the church isn't closed, only the building. So thank you for your encouragement. Thank you for your support. I want to remind you of something today. Daniel, uh, in the book of Daniel, Daniel chapter 3, uh, the three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Remember Nebuchadnezzar, powerful Nebuchadnezzar, had his image. They did not bow down. Obviously, uh, they did the right thing. And they said, uh, we're going to throw you in the fiery furnace. Remember what those boys said? Remember they said, O King Nebuchadnezzar, our God whom we serve, I think it's Daniel 3.17, they said, our God whom we serve is able, is able to deliver us. And you know what? They, they were cast into the fiery furnace, but God delivered him and he showed up. Remember, there weren't three. There were not three in the fiery furnace. There were four. And the fourth was the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Aren't you glad for that? I want to remind you this morning that God is able. He's able. And He's able to rescue us and deliver us no matter what we're dealing with. And I want to remind you of that today because He's powerful and He's strong. And so uh, I just want to encourage you this morning. I want to remind you that uh, everything that we're dealing with, obviously we'll be here again tomorrow at 9 o'clock live, Lord willing. And then Sunday at 10 o'clock, we've already mentioned all that. But I want to encourage you about the matter of giving. And I know we're all uncertain about these days, but the ministry goes on. And just like I mentioned, we're, we're cooking a meal today. I thank you, Miss Pat, for cooking a meal for Garden City. And Garden City Rescue Mission has needs. Our men, our, all of our missionaries, all of our missionaries have needs. And uh, so I want to encourage you to give. There's two ways you can do that. You can give online. If you're one of our church family, you have the Realm app. You can give online. And I encourage you to do that. My wife and I will be continuing our tithing, our giving, and our giving to missions, and even to our building fund, our pledges. But you can also mail in your check. Make sure if you mail it in, uh, your gifts, you can mail it in to the, not the street address. Mail it into our P.O. Box, P.O. Box 1730, Clearwater, South Carolina, 29822. We do not receive mail at our street address, only the P.O. Box. So I encourage you to be faithful. And, and I know we have a lot of questions, but the work of God goes on. And thank you for your encouragement and thank you for your support. And uh, God's been good to all of us. Uh, I want to remind you that again on Sunday, we'll be here at 10 o'clock live uh, with a Bible story time for the children, 10.15 a Sunday school time, and about 10.30, 10.35, we'll be going right into music and a message. And so uh, in these days, it's a busy schedule, uh, but thank you for loving on one another and encouraging one. I know some of you are checking. You're checking on some of our seniors, and you're checking on some of our folks who may have needs during this time. And thank you for loving on them, and thank you for encouraging them. God bless you. I hope that you have a great day. And Lord willing, we'll see you back here together again tomorrow at 9 o'clock. And remember, Lakeside isn't closed, only the buildings. And I want to encourage you today to say something good about God. Amen. Have a great day.